Hey guys, this is Shauna with Domain Analytics and today I'm excited to give you a short tutorial on how to use Canva. I'll be showing you how we created this blog post graphic right here in just six simple steps. So let's get started. After logging into your Canva account, you'll begin by creating a design. Canva offers a lot of options here as you can see, so you'll choose a design that best fits your needs. In this case, we're creating a feature image for a blog post and we like to use the Facebook ad layout or design for our blog post graphics. That way we can share the post on Facebook without having to resize the image. It's pretty handy. So clicking on a design opens up your workspace and I always say avoid starting from scratch as much as possible by beginning with a Canva layout. And I'm gonna start with this first layout right here. And now we're ready to create our blog post graphic in just six easy steps. So step one, choose a photo for your design. Navigate to the Uploads tab on the left side of your page here where you can upload an image or choose an image from your gallery. For this design, I decided to use the fo this photo right here since it fits with our topic and not too distracting. So to add it to your layout, just click and drag it over to the page. Perfect. Step two, customize your text. Click on the text box to add your own text. And the title of our blog post is how to use Canva to create compelling visual content. How to create, uh, how to use oops, Canva. I'm gonna change the font size to 72. Let's open up this text box a little bit and let's also change the font. I like this font right here. You can change the spacing to bring the font, the letters closer together. You can also change the height, the line height. I just wanna change the letter spacing a little bit. There we go, that's great. Let's bring that up on the page a little bit. And let's do the same thing for the subhead. And I'm gonna change this font as well. Let's change it to an open sans. And let's bold it. You can also change the font size of this, bring it up to a 24. Open up that text box a little bit more. Perfect. All right. Step three, add a box around your text. For this desi uh, design, I decided to add a box around my heading. I think it'll help it stand out a little bit. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Just on your keyboard, hold down the shift option B. Voila. Make sure we have enough space there. Perfect, let's move my subhead down. Perfect, step four, add a colored background to your subhead. I wanna help this stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna navigate over here to the Elements tab, click on Shapes, and we'll add a square. So you just click on it, it pops right up. And then to resize, just grab onto it and drag it on the page to the size that you want it to be. I'm also going to change the color of this. So up on the top of the page, click on that black box, brings up a whole color palette. You can also choose your own color from a color wheel. Or if you have a color code, you can add that in right there. Go ahead and send this to the back. Size it on or yeah, adjust it so it is centered. Let's make sure this is centered as well. All right, this is looking good. What do you guys think? Getting there? Yeah, I'm really liking it. All right, step five, make sure that your text is easy to read. Right away, I'm noticing that this how is a little bit difficult to read. It's blending into the background. So let's put a filter of some sort on our image, our background image. Click on the background. At the top of your page, you can click on filter. You can choose a filter or you can just click down to the advanced options and adjust a few settings. For instance, the brightness, you can bring that down a little bit. Pull down the contrast and add just a little blur. Let's see how this looks. Already it's a lot easier to read. So what do you guys think? 
I think it's looking really good, which brings us to step six. Download and you're good to go. So to download, you just click at the top of the page and you have a few different options. PNG, JPEG, you can even download as a PDF if you want. For this case, we'll go with PNG. And there you go. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and happy designing.